السلام علیکم اینڈ ویری گڈ مارننگ ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ویلکم ٹو نیو کلاس وی آر اسٹارٹنگ ٹوڈے سیشن ود دا چیپٹر آپریشن آن سیٹس اینڈ اور ٹوڈیز ٹاپکس آر سیٹ آف نمبرس سب سیٹ اینڈ پاور سیٹ ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس پلیز اوپن یور میتھمیٹکس بکس نیو کاؤنٹ ڈاؤن بک ایٹ Today we will reinforce some previous information and introduce some new concepts. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe sets of numbers, define a subset and its types, and define a power set. Sets of numbers is actually integration of our previous learning of numbers to our current topic, sets. You are very much aware of all the types of numbers as natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, even and odd numbers, and prime numbers. But today we will discuss all these types of numbers as sets. Now set of natural numbers. The set of natural numbers is represented by n and the set is 1, 2, 3, 4 and onwards. and set of whole numbers you know the difference yes exactly only zero is added in natural numbers to make it whole numbers so zero one two three and onwards are whole numbers and it is represented by w now set of integers you know that all the positive and all the negative numbers are called integers including zero why are we saying zero separately Yes, exactly, because 0 is not negative, not even positive number. So, when we are talking about negative and positive numbers, we have to say 0 separately if it is part of the group. So, it is part of integers and integers we represent by Z. Now, set of rational numbers. Set of rational numbers is represented by Q and the set can be written as simple fraction where numerator and denominator are integers the set is q is equals to x whereas x is equals to p upon q and p and q are members of z members of z we just revised yes means member of set of integers and where q is not equals to zero now set of even numbers set of odd numbers these are very simple yes exactly all those numbers which are divisible by 2 are called even numbers and which are not divisible by 2 are called odd numbers yes exactly correct and even numbers we represent by e and odd numbers we represent by o now set of prime numbers yes set of prime numbers are represented by p and the set include the whole numbers that have only two factors 1 and the number itself the set is p is equals to means prime numbers are equals to 2 3 5 7 11 and one interesting thing that 2 is the only even number which is part of the set of prime numbers i hope you revised all these things which you already know Okay. Now subsets. Most of you must know about subsets and supersets. Yes, what is superset? Yes, exactly. A superset is a set from which we are finding subsets. And who can describe a subset? Yes, very good. A, subs a set is a subset of another set which is superset actually. if every element in the set is also an element of the other set subsets are of two types first one is proper subset a proper subset is a subset that contains all the elements of superset but the superset contains at least one element not present in the subset it means the set itself is not the proper subset of the set the sign of proper subset is this You can say that an equal set of any set is not a proper subset of the set. 
For example, set A is equals to 1, 2, 3, which is superset. The proper subset of set A are set number 1 it has the element 1 in it. Second is 2 as element in it. The next set is 3 as element in it. And the next set is empty set. Remember this thing, empty set is subset of every set. And another set is has the element 1 and 2 in it. Next set has elements 2 and 3 in it. And the last one has elements 1 and 3 in it. So this was the proper subset. Now improper subset. Improper subset is the set itself. Or you can say an equal set of a set is its improper subset. For example, set A is equals to 1, 2 and 3. And set B is equals to 1, 2 and 3. Here set A is improper subset of set B and set B is improper subset of set A. We write it as set A. This is sign of improper subset. So set A is improper subset of set B and as well as set B is improper subset of set A. Or very simply we can say that both of these sets are equal set of each other. Now power set. All the subset of a set is called its power set. We use formula to find and write power set as P then in the bracket name of set is equals to 2 and the power is n where n is number of elements of the given set or number of elements of the superset. For example set A has elements S and T in it. Set A has two elements. So subsets of set A are first is empty set then next set has S as element in it and this set has T as element in it and the last one has S and T both as element in it. So these are four sets. One, two, three, four. And we will write power set as P, A, set, name of the set, 2, power 2. Because it has two elements, so we will write 2 over here. Now, P A is equals to 4 because 2 power 2 is 4. So, it is a set of 4 sets which we counted over here. I hope this concept is clear to all of you. Now, summary of today's lesson. We did set of numbers and we learned subsets, the two types of subsets, proper and improper subsets and the power set. I hope you learned this very well and you can implement this in your written task. And your written tasks are task number 1, question number 2, exercise 1, page 18 of new countdown 8. Task 2 is question number 3, exercise 1, page 18 of new countdown 8. Now your home assignment is question number 2, 3 and 4, multiple choice questions 1 page 20 of new countdown 8. Now remember students task 1 and 2 you will complete just after this lesson but for home assignment you are free to do before next lesson. Allah Hafiz, good luck and keep practicing.